Hi everyone, welcome back and happy Friday. We're going to get started with our preschool workout today. Um, we're going to be adding things in, we're going to do some vault drills, jumping and running. So get ready and we're going to get started with shaking our sillies out. Ready? Yes, we're ready. ready? We're going to shake, shake, shake our sillies out, shake, shake, shake our sillies out, shake, shake, shake our sillies out, we're going to shake, shake, shake our sillies out, we're going to wiggle our waggles away. We're going to clap. So now we're going to get started with some stretches. We're going to stand with our feet together and reach all the way up. Come up on your tippy toes, reach a little higher. And now we're going to reach down and touch our toes for our pike position. Keep your legs straight. And we're going to squat all the way down like a froggy. Try to get your heels flat on the floor. Nice, Gigi. Thank you. Coach Emma's videotaping for us today. <laughs> okay, let's sit down now to our butterfly. Yes. Coach Gigi, where are you flying today? I am going to fly to Thailand. Thailand. Very nice. I'm going to fly to the library. Ooh. Let us know where you're flying in the comments. Where are you going, Emma? I want to fly to the beach where it's beach. warm and oh, sunny. Very nice. Okay, let's slap our wings. And time to land. Reach your back really long and smell your toesies. Okay, sit up tall. We're going to put our feet in front for our pike position. So sit up as tall as you can. Point your toes. And flex them up to the ceiling. And point. And flex. And point one and flex the other. And switch. And switch. And switch and switch and switch and switch. And switch. <laughs> okay, point both. Reach up tall. And we're gonna do a big alligator chop. Jumps. Ready? Make your one. Teeth. Those are your teeth. One, two, three. Chop. <coughs> and chop. Jump. Two more. Last one. Good job. Okay, let's put our feet apart in our straddle. Hello. Oh. Our kitty Riggins is coming to say hi. <laughs> okay, point your toes and reach up tall and reach all the way over. <laughs> And reach up to the middle and all the way over to the other side. He wants attention. <laughs> and all the way up to the middle and reach as far as you can. Very good. Okay, now we're going to go on our hands and our knees for our dizzy doggy. Good job. And go the other way. Okay, let's push back to our cat stretch. So sit on your heels and reach those hands all the way forward. And we can do silly cat ready. One, two, three. Ah. <laughs> oh my gosh, you did the same thing. <laughs> Oliver says hi. Hi, Oliver. Hi. We miss you. Okay, this time we can do scary cat ready. One, two, three. Ah. Good job. Okay, let's go to our mermaid stretch. Our cat is freaking out right now. Okay, let's look over your shoulder. And the other one. And let's try to touch your toes to your head. <laughs> Are we close? Coach Abby's a little bit closer than Coach Gigi. Okay. Now, we're going to go to our, hit, or our feet and we're going to do a blast off. 
Make sure you're landing with your stop signs. Ready? Five, four, three, two, one. Blast off and <laughs> stick. Good. That's our landing position. Right? Evelyn yes. says hi, Elsa. Hi, Evelyn. I miss you so much. <laughs> I hope you're having fun. Okay. Now, we're going to get started with our handstand work again. So, Coach Gigi's going to show us her bear walk. She's going to cover her ears with her shoulders. She's going to get started with her bear walk. She's going to see if she can walk around the whole room. Very good job. She's even keeping her legs straight. If you can keep your legs straight, you should try. Very good job. And so you're going to see how many times you can walk around the room like that. Next, she's going to try her bear with the broken leg. So she covers her ears again. She lifts one foot up. Then she moves her hands and then her foot. Very good job. And that leg that's in the air is staying straight and pointed the whole time. Beautiful. Very nice. Now for our donkey kicks today, we're going to try to make it a little bit more difficult. She's going to put her hands down again, but she's going to start jumping back and forth. So she jumps her feet to one side and the other. This is to get ready for our cartwheel. So she's jumping back and forth. And if you want, I'm going to grab a book. She can try to jump over the book. Back and forth over the book. And you can build a tower. See how high you can jump over without knocking it over. That was pretty good, Gigi. Thank you. Nice job. Now we're also, just like every day, she's going to practice her handstand against the wall. So she's going to put her hands down, push through those shoulders, covering her ears, and walk all the way up. Very nice. She's squeezing her belly and her bottom. She's pushing tall through those shoulders. Can you show us when you're relaxing your shoulders? Yeah, we don't want that. That's not good. Everything is as tall and tight as it can be. Good job. Let's count to five. One, <laughs> two, three, four, five. And if she wants, she could try to lift one foot. Very good. Nice job. Walk back down and do a big to that. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Okay, next, we're going to start working on a couple more forward rolls. So remember, she's going to sit down on her bottom. Today we're using a noodle instead of a stuffed animal, but you could definitely use a stuffed animal or a book or whatever you'd like. She is going to do her rock and roll three times. And when she stands up, she's going to reach for the noodle. One, two, three, reach and stand up. Beautiful. Good job. Let's do that one more time. One, two, three, and all the way up. Good job. Now the next step is her forward roll. So she's going to do the same thing. She'll do her forward roll. Remember, she tucks her head all the way in. So it's the back of her head and her back on the floor, not the top of her head. When she stands up, she'll reach right for the noodle. Nice. Oh, wow, let's do another one. You got this. I can do it. <laughs> and Dobby looks for your Wow, good job, Gigi. Thank awesome. You. So make sure you get a video of yourself doing that and send it to us so we know how you're doing. Now next, we are going to get started with some vault work. If you guys remember what vault is, that's where we run and we jump on the springboard and try to jump up onto the mat, right? So we're gonna be using for our props just towels you can really use anything. You can use a piece of paper. You can use an imaginary spot on the floor, whatever you're feeling. So we're going to put our towel out to be like our dot kind of that we would use at gymnastics. And we're going to get started. I'm actually going to turn mine this way for us to stand on it with just our apart together jump. So we stand with our hands on our hips. We're going to jump our feet apart and together. We're going to do that five times. One, two, three, four, five. Good job. I almost forgot. Now we're going to try to jump one foot forward and one back like this. Yeah, good idea. <laughs> forward and together. Two, three, four, five. And now we're going to do the other foot in front. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four, five. Awesome. 
Okay, so the next one, this is what we do to jump on the springboard. You're going to put one foot on your dot or towel or whatever, and we're gonna jump to our freeze position in front of it, like this. Jump, freeze. So we go one foot, one foot on the towel, jump to two feet. Let's see, Gigi, beautiful. One foot, jump to two. Good job, let's do two more. One foot, two. One foot, two. Very good job. Now, you can move your towel out of the way for one second. We're gonna add the run. So, Gigi, do you know what we do with our arms when we run? Hmm. Are they at your side? I think so. <laughs> so we're gonna have our arms by our side, your elbow bent like this in a right angle. And we're gonna move them back and forth like this. You could start nice and slowly. Good, and then you can move them a little faster. Now, freeze. You're gonna lift one arm and lift the opposite. That means the other leg. And switch. Let's do two more. Very good. Now we're going to try to run in place for 10 steps. So use those arms and get your knees up. Ready, set, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine ten. ten. Very good job. We did it. We did it. Last thing, we're going to do a little relay. So I'm going to run to the other side and then run back and tag Gigi with my elbows and then she'll run. Ready? Go. Ready, set, go. Yeah, go, Chabby. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Careful. <laughs> Good, let's do it one more time. Good. Okay, last thing. We're gonna get our towels back out and we are going to try to add those two things together. So, I'm going to run. When I get to my towel, I put one foot on, jump to two feet. All right. Good job, Gigi, that was beautiful. Thank you. Run with my arms, one foot, two feet. Awesome. awesome. I'm gonna do one more. Run, one foot, two feet. Okay guys, so make sure you get pictures and videos of everything you learned today. Um, it's the last day of the week, so we'll be back with you on Monday, but we're gonna do our drawing later today. So every time you did a workout this week and you sent us pictures, um, we're putting your name in a bowl and drawing a name. Whoever wins gets a free open gym, so make sure you send us your workout today, and at the end of the day, we'll do our um, drawing. And hashtag it, stay balanced. We'll see you guys on Monday. Thanks Bye. for joining us. Bye.